once you've ground your teeth, the next thing to do is you need to lower the depth gauge because as you, you can see this tooth, tooth slopes downward. So as you grind off the front of it, it gets lower and lower and lower as it gets shorter. The depth gauge right here measures how much wood is actually going to be fed to the tooth and how much is going to get cut. So that's why a lot of times when you sharpen a, uh, a chain, you find that it doesn't cut like it did when it was brand new. Okay, this is a, a depth gauge that I'm putting on here. Set it over, you set it over the tooth like that so it goes up in this, this area. And then you file across right here. The top like that. And then you move to the next one. This one you might be able to see a little bit better because it's on it's on the right side. Okay, you can see it just barely sticking up right there. You run the file across it. And you can feel the file cutting. And then once once it doesn't cut anymore, you're through. And you can see it's no longer sticking up above. It's now even with that top. And then you move to the next one. Now when you get going on doing this, uh, you can do an entire chain in just two or three minutes. You can actually do this in your grinder uh, that you're, where you grind your chain, but, but you have to reset your, your grinder up. And, all, and I just find that this is really just as quick to just do it by hand real quick. Okay, hope that helps.